All right, we're doing part number three of my makeup collection. I am so shocked that I've had to break this into so many pieces, but each time I've done a video, I've gotten to the end and I've been like, oh my gosh, this can't get longer. And sure enough, I'd have like another hour long more of footage or more, or I'd look at it and I'd go, you forgot that bin, you forgot the mascaras, you forgot the cream blushes, that kind of thing. So I'm gonna do part three today and then I will have a part four. So if you haven't seen part one and two, those will be listed down below. So go ahead and take a look at those. And and I will also list for you my declutter video. A lot of people have said you didn't do any declutters when you were doing showing your collection. That's because I did a 350 piece declutter right before I started this series. So this is going to be a four part series. I thank you so much for hanging with me and watching. You guys have been wonderful in giving me feedback and letting me know that it was perfectly okay to have this much makeup. I feel like it is for you too, even though I'm a YouTuber and yes, this is my job. If you love makeup, do what makes you feel good and do what makes you feel happy. Let's get into part three of my makeup collection right now. Okay, friends, this is hard. These are my setting sprays, my primers, and my glow products. So we will just go through them again. I'm not gonna take a lot of time, but I will, I will show you them. Charlotte Tilbury Air, Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. We know I love that one. The Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. I just used that one in a tutorial. The Professional, the Professional Super Setter from Benefit. This one has powder-like particles in it that set your makeup without having to use powder. Beautiful. Tatcha, this one I haven't had a chance to use enough. If any of you use Tatcha, the Luminous Dewy Silk Mist, will you let me know whether or not you love that? I haven't had a chance to use it enough. This one I just barely got. I mean, I just barely got this pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist from ColourPop. We shall see about that one. But the No Filter from ColourPop, I did get this a while ago and I I do love this. This is one of their new ones. And let's see, any more setting sprays? This is a luminizing setting spray, the Shake and Glow from L'Oreal. And this one is a dew mist. So basically it just makes your makeup and your face look very dewy and glowy. I also have kind of one of those same ones from Milk Makeup. This is their Hydro Grip set and refresh spray. Um, that one is a fun one that I've used for quite a while. And then another spray I have is from NYX. This is the plump and finish um, with electrolytes in it for setting spray. Um, and then let's go to primers, LYS. This is their secure skin gripping serum primer, excuse me. I'm still testing this one out. The verdict's still out about that, but here's my Tatcha. This is the liquid silk canvas. A Adore this product. I have forever. And then I also have the Skin Perfecting Daily Veil. This one is a primer as well. You can really feel the dimethicone in this, but it has the sunscreen that's the broad SPF of 39. I love this stuff. Used it like crazy for years. The NYX, the Marshmallow Primer. This is so lovely on your skin. Fills in pores, makes your skin feel hydrated. This is one of the ones I love. This is the new one, no filter from ColourPop. Again, along with those, that setting spray, I really like these. They just seem to work so well. From Rare Beauty, this is their um, primer as well. This is the Illuminating Primer. I really like this one. Had kind of just a glowy look to it without being over the top illuminating. Very pretty. This one is a new one I just got from Amazon that I'm testing. This is the Pore Base Gel Cream from Hun... Hun Okay, I'm not gonna be able to say that. H-U-N-M-U-I. Um, anyway, I'm gonna be trying that one. It feels very watery when you put it on your skin, but it dissipates quickly. So I will see whether or not that's one that I'm gonna be able to use a lot. From Benefit the Professional, I actually have this new one that is their light one. This is the hydrating one. Um, of their primer. I love this one. It reminds me a lot of the NYX Marshmallow one. So I love those. And then from Revlon, the Prime Plus Perfecting and Smoothing. This is awesome. Makeup and skincare primer. It has B5 and hyaluronic acid in it. Anytime you can get something that has hyaluronic acid in it 
or some sort of skincare ingredients. Don't we just love that? And then Joa, this is the Glow Activator Radiance Primer. I've heard that this is a dupe for a YSL primer. Um, I heard that from Jen. I do love this. It has little gold particles in it that aren't like. It doesn't look like glitter, it's just pretty. And then I heard about this one from Revlon, the Photo Ready Rose Glow Hydrating Illuminating Primer from another YouTuber, and I love this. It's very dewy, feels really great on your skin, but it sinks in. And then this is from Flower Beauty. This is one of my very favorites. This is their Priming Whip. If you have never seen this one before, it comes out like a mousse. Let me see if I can get it here without making an absolute mess. So it comes out like a mousse, and it's so much fun, and it just gives you this healthy pretty glow to your skin and i really really like it you're not going to be able to see much right there but it's gorgeous and then from l'oreal this is their lumi glotion i think this is so good i just oh my gosh that's completely illuminating gives you a gorgeous glow so does this fix and glow ultra glow primer from makeup revolution beautiful and of course so does this one it is the wonder glow instant soft focus beauty flash from um charlotte tilbury i i don't know if i'm exactly super impressed by this but i think that the lumi glotion would be a dupe for it and a dupe for the hollywood hollywood flawless filter I am not somebody that gets sucked into Charlotte Tilbury. I keep those to try and show you guys dupes. From e.l.f., this is a new one to me, the Glow Up Primer Serum. This sinks in so gorgeous. And it just glides across your skin and makes your skin feel like silk, almost like the Tatcha. I need to do a comparison side by side on those. This one, the jury is still out. This is the Perfector from Maybelline, the 4-in-1 Glow Makeup. I have mine in light. I don't know if I am like 100% sold on this or not, but it's good. Um, and then I love this Pore Defense Primer from Hard Candy Sheer Envy. And this is oil-free and silicone-free, which means it has no dimethicone in it. And it is so nice. I do have a Wet n' Wild one that's called the Impossible one. I think it's over in my drawer with my foundations that I'm trying. But these are all great and I love them. And yeah, just kind of trade off, look for dupes, all that kind of good stuff. So yeah, let me get these put back in as well. This is my collection of foundations that I've been doing for quite some time. You know that I have the Charlotte Tilbury, the brand new beautiful face one. Just got that. I really like it. Just got this one from Urban Decay, the Hydromaniac. Love this one as well. Love, love, love this one from Estee Lauder Futurist. If I was going to say of all of these that are this type, I would say that this is probably my favorite formula. Although I do feel like the number seven Protect and Perfect Advanced All-in-One Foundation is a dupe for it. These are really darn close. Uh, very hydrating formulas. All these right here that I just showed, extremely hydrating. And so is this one from Tarte, the Shape Tape Cloud that we just got released. I like this one very much, but again, extremely hydrating. Other super hydrating formulas would be the Good Apple Formula from KVD Beauty. This one, that is the Honest Mushroom Head um, Flawless Nude Makeup. That one is super hydrating, very creamy. This one I have a whole video about that I fell in love with this, but the shade range sucks so bad on it. And I felt so bad, even though I did love it. Laura Geller, this is her cream makeup. I really like this. This is a very creamy to powder formula. Really like that one. Um, the L'Oreal Age Perfect, the new one, four in one tinted balm. The jury is still out on this one. I've only used it once and it's super orange. I'm gonna have to either get a different color or try to make that color work, which I'm worried about. But yeah, the jury's still out on that one. I'm not gonna say yay or nay. These are my uh, number seven match made in heaven foundation drops. This is uber dark, uber, uber dark. I use this to mix into my foundations that are way too pale, um, but a teeny tiny bit of that goes such a long way. You have to be really careful, but it does a great job. And then of course my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Glow. I love this stuff. I've had this stuff. This is probably my third bottle of it. So good. Dior came out with their new formula of their um, uh, Forever Skin Glow and their Forever Matte. I love them both. I took the actual glow one back because I think they just tried to go to a clean formula 
and I wanted to use up what I already had. You can see how much darker that one is than this one. Um, this is the new bottle that I got, but I love both of these and mixing them together is magic. Um, it's perfect if you have mature skin. They are gorgeous on, on your skin. My number one foundation last year was the Shiseido Synchro Skin Self-Refreshing Foundation. This is still my number one foundation. I still love it. I still want to try their more glowy, dewy formula, but wow, this is an amazing foundation that I just can't get enough of. From MAC, the Studio Fix Fluid Foundation. This is one of the most perfecting, lightweight, gorgeous foundations on the market love this stuff and then the sephora best skin ever i have in two colors because the one was which is 11 and a half p was way too light and 30 p is just about perfect to mix in with it to get a good color this says that it's long wearing perfecting and it is all of those things it is a gorgeous foundation that can hang with any 50 dollars foundation any day and i think it's about 20 dollars. i love it i just tried on the lys on camera for you guys the triple fix serum foundation did you know that they're coming out with a concealer which i'm so excited about i did order that today it just came out i will be telling you about that but this foundation is not a serum foundation it is very much a full coverage foundation it reminds me of our beloved estee lauder double wear which you can tell i have in a too dark of a color but it is so close this one is about 22 and what is estee lauder about 40 something so what a great value to be able to get one that performs just like it wear time no oxidation beautiful across mature skin or any skin for that matter incredibly gorgeous and you know what the joa crystal glow primedation one all-in-one foundation that is a really close dupe as well for the estee lauder double wear and so is the revlon color stay i have mine in the normal to dry formula and I adore this. This is number 200, perfect color for me. This is an incredibly gorgeous foundation that I use over and over again. I think this is my third bottle on this one. I love that. The Fenty Glow Drops, Ease, Ease Drops. Yeah, Ease Drop Foundation. This is a foundation that if you're somebody that doesn't like heavy foundation, you like lightweight foundation, this is gonna be your friend. You will love it so beautiful incredibly beautiful um let's do these two stick foundations i got one from tarte that i haven't used that much because it's super duper light so i just use that to bring light to my face so as far as it being a foundation i feel like it's just a tiny bit too thick and then this one is for merit and i do like this one but again same thing just a little tiny bit too light for me so i just use it to bring light into the middle of my face one of the best foundations probably you know what i i have two foundations at the drugstore that i absolutely adore and you know what my number one is this is my number two the wet and wild photo focus the dewy one and the matte one i got this one in rose gold and this one in the regular ivory uh soft ivory when i mix these two together the dewy and the matte perfect perfect compliments to each other and i know that my camera's jumping around i apologize and the other thing that they are is they're perfect when they come together they're just so pretty because the formula just it's beautiful together from catrice true skin i love this foundation i don't even know what color this one is but it was way too light it almost looked white on me so i got the darker color oh cool almond c is right there but this one doesn't have it on there so um i'm not sure exactly what this one is but that just that almond and it's not a cool so yeah i got the new nars this is the light reflecting foundation they did such a good job on this. I didn't think I was going to like it better than the Radiant Wear, which is my ultimate beautiful foundation from NARS that I love. But man, oh man, did they do a great job on this foundation. It's beautiful. I probably should do a wear test because you guys said that you did want one. From Bourjois, this is the Healthy Mix Foundation. It says it's up to 16 hour wear and it's full of the vitamin C, E, and B5. This is beautiful. It's a medium coverage. It's a gorgeous foundation. I'm so glad that I got this. You can build it up. It's beautiful. It's a little bit too orange for me, but I can color correct it, no problem. From Forera, this one I got on Amazon. This one is the coverage foundation, naturally flawless, oil control, and lightweight feel. 
it says soft matte long wear and liquid foundation now this is not a foundation that i feel like is too drying for me and i have very dry skin but this one just works really well it covers like a dream it is amazing for how long it wears and it doesn't oxidize it's so good this one you know what i need to declutter this one this 30 hour wear from maybelline this is not a good foundation for me because of my dry skin my mature skin it turned a color it, you know it kind of oxidized and the other thing about it is it just did not wear that well so i better declutter that one believe beauty wow this is this is a high and foundation put in a five dollar bottle if you have not had a chance to try this and go into dollar general and find it next time you're next to one please give this a try i love this foundation it is so good it reminds me so much of the dior foundations isn't that horrible the dior foundations are like almost fifty dollars and this is five bucks it's phenomenal and then the original Bare Minerals Bare Pro, their performance wear, not the new one that is the actual original that they, they released. This is their old formula and this is beyond amazing. This is one of my top 10 foundations of all time. I love this foundation. And then my very found favorite foundation of all time. You know what? Let's just talk about the Stay Naked. This is the Weightless Liquid Foundation from Urban Decay. Let's talk about that one really quick. Medium foundation, gorgeous on mature skin. I love this foundation. Maybe think about getting a lighter color than you normally think you might need because it seems like it runs just a teeny bit dark, but this is a beautiful foundation on mature skin because it does feel weightless it is very long wearing but it has that lightweight feel i love that number one will always be for me the number seven lift and illuminate triple action serum foundation this will always 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 be my number one foundation because of how it looks on my skin it has an spf of 15 it is phenomenal i am here to tell you that if there were no other foundations on the market I could live with this foundation and be just fine. This is my ride or die, gorgeous, beautiful foundation. I love this. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of these back in their little drawer here, and then we're gonna move on to concealer. Alrighty, in order for it to not take a year, we better just get through these. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Color Corrector in the color medium. I am trying to use this one up. Not my favorite, a little bit too emollient, but it's a good one if you're somebody that loves Charlotte Tilbury. Believe Beauty, this is their color corrector as well. I'm trying to use these up so I can get back to my Pixie, my very favorite. Now, I have not tried this L'Oreal True Match. This just came out, it's brand new. It's their new concealer and I have mine in N12. And when I did swatch this, it seemed a little bit orange, but the only other color I could get that was cool was extremely light. So we shall see about that one. The rest of these are some of my favorites. Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is her Magic Touch Concealer. I have mine in three and I love it. And then this one is the new one, the Bear With Me Concealer Serum Found, or I'm sorry, Concealer Serum from NYX. This color is light and it works really well for me and I enjoy this so much. I have three colors of the Catrice True Skin. I just like having the super light color to go in the inner corner of my eye, but I also like having the other colors to be able to mix as my coloring changes throughout um, the year, you know, with the summer or, you know, getting winter or whatever but these are great as far as looking very natural non-creasing and they have high coverage and that's what i look for i have to have high coverage this one right here from lancome the tint idol ultra wear all over concealer this one is probably my least favorite one that's in here and it's because this one is just a tiny bit too drying so i reach for this in the summer it's okay in the summer when i sweat a lot but it's not my very favorite the stay naked um correcting concealer i love this one i'm in nn or three zero nn i really love this it goes along with that stay naked um, foundation they're so pretty together from kosas you all know that is my love my number one pick my ride or die um, concealer this is what made me change and go back to using concealer after eight months of not having concealer touch my face i found kosas it has all these skin loving ingredients in it it has a great shade range kosas is coming out 
with a foundation. I cannot wait. It's the foundation I'm going to buy this month. I'm not buying any more this month, but I'm going to buy the Kosas foundation that I'm so excited about because this does not crease. It does not settle into fine lines. It does not oxidize. It keeps hydrating throughout the day. Phenomenal. And then the Dior Forever Skin Correct. I really like this one as well. I do feel like this color is a little bit dark for me and I got the color that was almost the most light color I could get. But still at the same time, I feel like this is a beautiful concealer that is just gorgeous on mature skin. This one is the, I think this one is the Giorgio Armani uh, Power Fabric Skin one something like that. Anyway, I like this one too, but it's not my favorite. Again, this is um, right up there, not because of its drying, but because I just, I can't get the kind of coverage and the lasting power out of it that I want to. So these are probably my two least favorites that I have in the drawer right now, but I do want to use them up because they're still really good. This is the line blurring wrinkle filler from City Beauty that you can use all around your eyes and is supposed to really help your eyes um, look a little bit brighter. I'm not 100% convinced of this. I am still using it, but we shall see as time goes on whether or not that is something that I will feel like I re want to repurchase. And then I have two from Tarte. This one is the Creaseless. This is a fantastic concealer. I love this concealer. This is the one, the Maracuja that used to come in the tube. Love that concealer. It's very emollient, so be careful. If you do like the It Bye Bye Under Eyes, you'll like this because it's that very emollient. If you have never liked either of those because you felt like they creased, well, they creased because you used too much. The trick to this is using the minimal, I mean, a tiny, tiny bit of it. This right here is the Tarte Shape Tape Glow Wand. This is used just for putting light in the area where you need it nothing to do with concealer, but it goes on top of a concealer and can make your concealer just get bumped up a notch. This is incredibly beautiful. This is the lip gloss and lip liner drawer. NARS lip liner. I don't know what this is, what color it is, but it's a lilac color. Love it. This is the Pat McGrath. This one is in Cosmic Vibes. That's kind of a I don't know, a rosy color. This is the Lippy Pencil. This is Cool BFF. I don't even think you can get this anymore from ColourPop. This one is the Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury. I only keep that as being able to dupe it. This one is an eyeliner from Sephora, the waterproof. This is Plum Shimmer, and I really seriously only use that one. Instead of an eyeliner, I use it for my lips. Now I have several of the Gel Rouge formula from um, Sephora Collection, and I'm here to tell you, if you don't have any, you're missing out. I love this formula. There is Bellflower. There is um, Rum Raisin. There is in the, or the new and this one is, what is this one called? Sinker Suede, my four favorite colors from them. Then I have a CoverGirl Exhibitionist lip liner in Marvelous and a uh, Rimmel. This one is an Exaggerate in the color Addiction. Then I have another Rimmel. This one is their Thousand Kisses in Rose Quartz. These are two bite beauty ones that you can't get anymore. I don't want to get rid of them because I love them. This is one that Risa does makeup talked me into for Makeup Forever for a, this is an eye pencil in Endless Cacao. This just doesn't work that well for me. I need to try it on my eyes. This one is um, from Essence, this stay, eight hour stay lip liner. This color is in Keep Receipts. I love that one. LA Girl, the nude lip liner, and this one is in Rosewood. Like it very much. This is an eyeliner, again, from Sephora. This one is called Soft Rose, beautiful lip liner. This one is from CoverGirl Exhibitionist, and this one is in Burgundy, love that. This one is from NYX. This is probably the only NYX pencil I have. Although I love the formula, I can't find colors. Prune, love that one. Koki Cosmetics, Plum Purple, love that one. And then last but not least, Maybelline Color Sensation. Goodbye, Smuckers. Maybelline Color Sensation. And this one is Gone Grayish. And this one is a great color as well. Kosas has a lip balm that I really like. Revlon has a lip gloss that I absolutely love and I can't see the colors on them. This one is um, Purple Rain from the new 
Essence Extreme Shine Line. This is from Bare Minerals. This one is called Imagination. That's a lip gloss as well. Shine, shine, shine. Old formula from Essence. I love this one. I probably won't get rid of it. Orgasm from NARS Lip Gloss. This is one that came in a holiday set. MAC Lip Gloss. And this one, I can't even, something metal on that one. My Buxom Full on Plumping Lip Glosses. This one is in Celeste. This one is in, this one is in Ginger. This one is in, all of these are the plumping with the, the little bit of shimmer in them. Sabrina, this one is in Belle. I think it says Belle. Um, this is a beautiful duochrome one. I got all these during the holidays. This one is in Sophia. This next one is in Danny. This one is in Star. This one is in Sugar. And then this one is, ooh, Claire. Very pretty. Claire is very pretty. I have a Joa. This is kind of an iridescent, just topper. The glossed lip glosses from Sephora. I love this. Regal is that color. Love that. Revlon, another one that I can't see the color. Number 205. Persona Cosmetics. This is pink gloss. A uh, tiny bit of shimmer in that, but I love the gloss. These from these Pro Infallible lip glosses, the eight hour. This one is in blush, I think. These are amazing, amazing glosses. They will last you all day. This is a plumper from Grande Lips, a plumper in Diamond Crystal from Physicians Formula. My favorite plumper formula of all time from Sephora in Starstruck Pink. And then this other color is number 10. I can't see what it says. Favorite formula that you can buy without breaking the bank um, is from Sephora. I do love the Maglani Keep It Full. Those are fantastic as well. Tropical Shine Pearl. Um, nope, that's Moonlight, sorry. And then this one is Nude Shimmer. So pretty. Then I have a bunch of plumpers from City Lips. I have Watermelon. I have this one that you can't get anymore, which is a shame, Orchid. Gorgeous color on a cool tone gal. This one is Dusty Rose. I don't think you can get that one anymore either. Not sure. This one is Nude York. And I do have Tokyo Kiss and I have the other one too. Um, and they're in my purse. And then this is a plumping one from e.l.f. This one is called Champagne Glam. These are so pretty. These are the NYX Butter Glosses and they are so beautiful. This one is in Creme Brulee. This one is in Vanilla Cream Pie. They These are very deceiving. This is more the color down here. This color is in Meringue. So this color down here. This color is in Eclair. And then this color is in Tiramisu. I feel like those are very deceiving. Huda Beauty Silk Balm, just a clear balm. This is a Kosas, just a clear balm. This is their wet uh, glosses or oils or whatever you want to call them. Again, this is another one from Kosas, Unhooked. I bought these in a set, a bunch of these in a set. Malibu, they sent me that one. And then this one is unzipped and it has a little bit of a shimmer in it. If you want a saturated gloss, that gives a huge payoff for gloss and acts like a lipstick for lasting. That is these from Sydney Grace. They're amazing. And one is called, let's see, one is called Haley and the other one is called Chloe. Amazing glosses. My Fenty collection, this one is Diamond Milk. And then this one is one of their creams and this one is candy milk. I love both of these. I have a heat one. This one, these three came in the little set that we got this year from the holidays. Lifter Gloss by Maybelline in Pearl. Oh man, I, I adore that one. It is one of my very favorites. Oyster Girl, probably my favorite gloss of all time, Mac made. And then I have this one too, and this is Ruby Princess. It's a lacquer, and I love that. And then Catrice sent me these, um, Powerful five and I love these as well. It's a glossy lip oil. They're so good. So back they go into their little respective bins Okay, last drawer. I can't believe it. This has been a long long video. Okay, these are my matte lipsticks I don't wear a lot of matte But when I do there are specific formulas that I like from City Beauty because it's a plumping formula there is pink taupe and then this one is blush rose 
and rosy mauve so those are my favorites from there super stay ink crayon from maybelline this is just a pencil one. Oh, i should tell you what color that is stay exceptional on that one from persona this one is flamingo on that one the ultimate matte from maybelline new york and this one is called what this one is called more mauve and then from charlotte tilbury i don't like this one either but i keep it because you know do purposes i can't figure out what that one's called and then i have these four from sephora collection there are I think like a hundred colors in the Sephora collection. You should try them. They're good. You can use them even if you don't like that drying effect. I have two lipsticks from Huda Beauty. There is Angel and Buttercup. Very pretty colors. Let's see if we can just, there's Buttercup. And Angel is a little bit more pink on that. So those are gorgeous. Then I have a couple of Revlon. This one is called Make It Pink. This one is one of my new favorites. Really like that one a lot. And then Berry Hot. I love this color, so pretty. You will see that these colors are, for me, I tend to stick with the same color. This one is called Spy, uh, Soft Hearted from Rimmel. Beautiful color as well, Soft Hearted. And then this is a newer color from Kosas. This one is Rose Water. I think it's so pretty. And then these beautiful colors. Oh my goodness, did BK Beauty knock it out of the park when they did these lip colors? This one is called Self Love. These are so creamy and beautiful, rich formulas. And then this one is Inner Beauty. And then this one is called Acceptance. They're so pretty. I keep this one from Charlotte Tilbury, which is the KKW. I do like this nude color. It's very pretty. I will pair that with a lot of my lip liners. From the Sephora collection, these are the lip lacquers. I love these. These are so saturated and pretty, but they act like a balm. These are some of my most favorite formulas that really act like a balm and are very high shine. Buxom, this is um, badass. That's what this one is called. That looks a lot like the one I just swatched. From Milani, this is I Am Fabulous. This is one of their mattes. So pretty. This one is from Christian Audette and Mel Thompson. This one is, ooh, what is it called? I don't know what this one is called. I'll have to make sure I link it for you guys. I think it might just be called Beauty. It's just really pretty. From Color the World, I got these. This one is called Magnificent. I got all these purple colors because I love purple lipsticks. Actually, that one's kind of fuchsia. Um, these are very satiny. There's no matte about them. This one is kind of a muted um, mauve color or muted purple independent. This one is called dreamer. I got these on a really good sale But I'm a little disappointed in the packaging in these they're not that great of packaging Even though I feel like they charged quite a bit for it flawless on that one very pretty another one from buxom called gladiator this is whoa so saturated. I love that. I think it's so pretty Dahlia desire from flower beauty really pretty too just a little bit lighter than that one. All right, let's do these two from L'Oreal. These are the shine ones. This is the plump one in Mulberry. As you can tell, I like that color a lot. And then I have this one, which is the Sparkling Rose. And that is just their shine, shine, shine ones, the balm-like ones. I kept five lipsticks from Urban Decay, even though you can't get them anymore. And this one is called Backfire. I really like this color. Muted, again, muted purple color, which I think is just so pretty. And then this one is called Rapture. And then the next one is called, I wish that we could still get this one. This one is called Asphyxia. I wish that we could still get these. They're so pretty. This one is called Native. This is the most pretty pink nude oh my gosh it's so pretty and then the last one is called violate don't come at me i didn't name these the last one is called violate um i don't agree with the names i don't like the names just like i don't like nars but i do like their products then i have a bunch of mac and i'll just go through these plum dandy you're gonna see that these are all really close to the same plum dandy right there this one is called igloo to you i think that's what it's called pretty color 
Really pretty color, different than anything I've seen in a long time. I think I may have gotten some of those. Fabby, this next one is called. I think I may have gotten some of those in a set during the holidays. This one is called Brave. Um, I love pinks and purples, and I love that beautiful, bright look to your lips. That one's Snob. These are all MAC, by the way. This one is called Creme de Nude. This is one of my favorite nude. Oh, that's going to go right on top of there. Favorite new nudes. I think that is so brightening, so pretty. And then this one is called Creme de la Femme, one of my OG favorites that I've worn for years. So pretty. This one is called Peach Blossom. I got this one because I really wanted to do some peaches this spring on my lips. I think it's a beautiful color. And then Angel Kiss or Angel. I don't remember whether it's Angel Kiss or Angel on that. And then the last one of the MAC ones is Snow Boundaries. Um, I don't know why it's called Snow Boundaries. Oh, it looks a lot like Angel Kiss, don't it? All right. Kate um, and Rimmel. Kate and Rimmel had number 41. This is my ultimate nude pink. My ultimate nude pink. I love that. Then they discontinued this one, which is called Blushing Beige from Maybelline. I hope that I can find it someday because I love that color to pair with so many different eye, uh, lip liners. Nude Lust, same thing. So pretty. So, so pretty. Actually, I think you can get Nude Lust still. My iconic one from way back, Warm Me Up, Maybelline. These are all Maybelline. So pretty. Just about any woman can wear that one. This one is Rose Embrace. A little bit darker here. Beautiful color. The next one is Mauve Me Up. Again, this is one I've worn forever. Oh my gosh, I've worn Mauve Me Up forever. And I've worn On the Mauve, um, which is this next one. Forever I have worn those. Oh my gosh. I love that color. I need to set these aside. What am I doing? I need to use more of these. This one is Blushing Pout. So beautiful. Oh my goodness. The next, the last two, last two, Romantic Rose. Beautiful color. Beautiful color, Romantic Rose. And then the last one, Born With It. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're at the end. Born With It, Maybelline. There it is. There they are. I know I didn't do all of them for you, but I did a lot of them. Oh my goodness, we got through it. We got through it. That was so much. I feel like I have just given birth. There was so much there. I hope that you guys did enjoy seeing my collection. I love you so very much. I hope we get together very soon in my next video. Please take care of yourselves. Stay happy, stay healthy, and say hi to my puppies. Hi, puppies. And I will talk to you in my next video. Give it a thumbs up on your way out of here, guys. I love you so much. Bye.